What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, check out this team that we are showcasing today. Today, we got ourselves a Sylveon team alongside with Weakness Policy, Galarian Moltres, and Assault Vest Metagross. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. It really does go a long way and it only takes a second of your guys' time. So shout out to everybody who supports me as a content creator. But getting started with this team, we have Grimmsnarl in that top left corner. Great support, Mon. It's got Prankster ability and Light Clay, so the screens will last longer. And you know your boy loves the screens Pokemon, so I'm going to be loving this guy on this team. Thunder Wave, Reflect, Light Screen, and Spirit Break as his Pokemon's moveset. Right next to him is going to be a hard-hitting Pokemon for his team, which is Metagross. Clear Body as his ability, so his stats can't be lowered. Assault Vest, so we can soak up some special attacking shots. And then that wonderful moveset of Iron Head, Rock Slide, Ice Punch, and Stomping Tantrum. Middle left, we have Tapu Fini, who is just a great Pokemon for any team. It's got the Misty Surge ability, so we can control terrain. The leftover, so we get a little bit more HP at the end of every single turn. And that awesome move set of Muddy Water and Moon Blast for Stab. Calm Mind set up and protect as our final move. Right next to him is going to be a Pokemon we haven't used in a while, but is still very strong on the ranked double ladder. We got Sylveon over here with that Pixelate ability, so normal moves turn into... Uh, Fairy moves, so that's going to be wonderful. Everything's going to be stabbed. We got that Papiri Berry, so we can soak up a Steel Shot. And then we got Hyper Voice, Mystical Fire, Lower Special Attack, Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, and Protect as our final move. Bottom left corner is going to be a big part of this team, a heavy hitter with Galarian Moltres. It's got the Berserk ability, so when it drops below half HP, we get a special attack boost, and then it has that weakness policy, so when we get hit by a super effective attack, we get that double special attack boost. Awesome Pokemon right here. Once it sets up, it's pretty much GG. We got that fairly normal move set on him with Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Nasty Pot to set up, and Protect as our final move. Final Pokemon is going to be Spectre over here with that Focus Sash and Grimnay. And this Spectre is a support one, and I love this moveset on it. It's got Shadow Ball for Stab, will o -Wisp for Burns and the Burn Physical Attackers, Snarl for Special Attack Drop, and Taunt to Taunt Support Pokemon. Guys, if you like this team, there is the rental code down at the bottom of the screen. Also, we have that Poke Paste down in the description below, so if you guys want to go check out the stats, the EVs, all that good stuff, just head down there and check out the Poke Paste down below. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Sylveon, Galarian Moltres, and Metagross team. First battle coming at you guys, and this is what I love about the first couple weeks of the new season. We're playing a bunch of off-meta teams, and it's just so much more fun to play this game. This guy has a Surfetch team alongside with Glacier, Mimikyu, Heatran, Metagross, and Torkoal. So he's going to be able to set the drought. He's going to want to get rocking out with that. He has no Pokemon that doubles his speed in the drought, so I think we're fine. We just got to watch out for the heavy fire damage coming in from the drought. That's our only problem. But who should I go into? Who should I lead this one? I think I'm going to get Grimstone rocking out here. Set up some screens, maybe throw some Paralyzed Pester around and get rocking out from there. I could go Metagross. Metagross is not a bad call, but it kind of is considering if he goes with Drought Torkoal, he can rock out from there. Hmm. How should Jeans play this one? I could start Snarling. That's not bad. I just have a few physical attackers, which I really don't like. But I can just start throwing Burns on him. So let's start. Let's just play this one slow. Let's go Spectre, Grimstone, set up screens, Paralyzed, Burn, whatever we need to do. To slow down our opponent and then have our heavy attackers in the back end with Moltres. And did we go Sylveon? Sylveon could be pretty good here. Or I think we go Metagross over the Sylveon. I think Metagross would be a little bit better in the back end. Let's rock out with it. Let's get buzzing. Let's try to get ourselves a win in battle number one. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. Are you guys going to be picking up the brand new Nintendo Switch Pro? Considering they just announced it, they just showed off pictures of it, and I don't know if they showed like all of its specs and all that and what it does, it's graphic wise and like does it have more space, but let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are getting it. I really don't know their specs yet, but I'm probably going to be picking it up. Probably runs better, probably runs smoother, and who knows, maybe certain games can only be played on that system. So, I have the money to do so, so you know your boy's going to be doing it to bring you guys content on it as well. But let's see who he leads. He's going to lead the Torkoal. That's kind of what I'm scared of. I'm scared of the Torkoal. There's Glacier and Mimi Mims. So I'm going to throw a burn on that and set up a Reflect turn. Mode. That is the Gene's turn. That is the Gene's turn. Go ahead. Go for it. Um, What item we have? We have the Light Clay on him. Yeah. I was trying to think. I was like, who has the Baviri Berry? It's the Sylveon. Sylveon is rocking out with the Baviri Berry. So we're going to set up a Reflect. And I'm just going to drop a will this. He has two physical attackers, so if I can get off burns on these guys, we're going to be rocking out just fine. There's a big reflect. Is he going to be setting up Trick Room? That could be his play. Will Lewis comes through. That's real rough, guys. That is real rough. I don't like that turn one bit. 
Don't like that turn one, but he's gonna drop a heavy slam. Please do not KO me. Please do not KO me. All right, we're able to eat. Dude, come on. I really want that burn. I really want that burn. Uh, we're gonna go for a spirit break here. Knock off that thing's... Uh, we're gonna knock off that thing's uh, disguise, and we're gonna go for this burn once again. That is my plan. I need this Willow Wisp on this thing. Dude, that was rough. Glacier is gonna end up protecting. That's totally fine. Does he take me out here with a... Uh, with a what's it called? With the play rough? Let's see. Spirit Break comes through. Hopefully we're able to eat. Actually, it don't matter. He's not going to be able to take out my, uh, uh, what's he called? My Spectre. And that's why I really need more so than I, than the Grimmsnarl. Considering Grimmsnarl already got off that Reflect, he kind of did a big big chunk of what he needs to do. Another play rough coming in here. No, he's going to drop a wonderful little Trick Room. The Trick Room is poking through. Again, I'm just going to throw a burn. Where do I Thunder Wave before we go? A Thunder Wave. You know, I'm just pestering this thing. I'd, I'd rather have will o -Wisp going out here on both these Pokemon. What other moves What other moves can I use? Now, we're just going to go for will o -Wisp. Can we land these burns? That, that's all I need. If I land a burn on both these guys, it's pretty much GG. I probably should have set up a late stream for later purposes, but I think we should be fine. Let's see how this one plays out. So there's the Dynamax. He is going to go first, which is tough news. We are Sash, which is wonderful, but I don't think he's going to be able to KO my Spectrum. It might go down to Puffets because he could be dropping Hailstorm, but let's just see what he does. Let's just see his play. Because I see a play rough coming out from the Mimikyu, hitting up onto my uh, Grimstarl, taking him out. And then I see this guy dropping maybe a Hailstorm or whatever on my Spectre. Let's see the play. Here goes the Hailstorm. Yep, onto the Spectre, right? Or are you going after Grimstarl? Nope, he's trying to get rid of the Spectre, which I don't think he can. Yeah, no shot. No shot. We got big reflux coming out here, and we're soaking up some shots. So we actually might get two turns out of this thing. Let's see how this one plays out. Here goes my Spirit Break. Getting some damage off on this thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, is the play rough coming out? That's the real question. I doubt you're doubling up in the Spectre. That a call comes through. And you are. You buttery biscuit. That's my burn miss first turn. That's my burn miss first turn. Just, just doing me dirty, man. Now he's set up in a trick room. Now we is set up in a trick room. Uh, we could go into Metagross. Metagross would be our best option to Dynamax here. But dude, I'm so focused on getting off that burn, man. Because that would have been huge. That would have been huge. And we and we throw it out first turn. If we would have just get got that burn, it would have just took it out the glacier, no problem. We would have been chilling here fine. Uh now I'm just gonna pester, I guess. I guess we'll do that, and I'll end up Dynamaxing you and going for a seal spike for a defense boost. Yeah, taking out the Mimikyu. Run it. Run it, baby. So now we're gonna get a defense boost. We're gonna have the reflect set up, and we should be sitting decently fine. We could just wait out these uh Dynamax turns and rock out from here. And then we have the Thunder Wave, so maybe we'll get lucky and get a Paralyzed turn. Could be huge. Could be big for your boy. Let's see, we got we still got Moltres in the back, so I feel like as long as we can get rid of this Glacier, could be chilling. It could be chilling. Let's see how this one plays out. There's our Thunder Wave. Oh, this one connects. We just needed the burn to connect, because I would have loved to get the burn on the Glacier and then over onto the Mimikyu. But there's a huge turn from, from us. This dude, will o -Wisp me. His, his burn connects. Oh, it's so easy for his burn to connect. Oh, it's light work for his burn to connect. We drop a seal spike here. Take him out, no problem, right? Yeah, get him out of here. Even through the burn. Even through the burn. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. So we drop you. More importantly, we get that defense boost. And depending on who he throws out, it's going to depend my or make me decide my next move. Because I either want to go for a light screen or throw a paralyze onto the next Pokemon that's going to come out here. I don't see Glacier doing a lot of damage through, through a Reflect or a Defense Boost, so. Let's see who he brings out here. It would be a Surf Edge. I would love to see a Surf Edge. I would love to see Surf Edge get rocking out here. Or it could be a Torkoal. If it's Torkoal, that's scary. That would be scary. It would be Metagross, okay. So this Metagross is going to get poking through here. Um, I think we just Thunder Wave on that, right? Right? I think we just Thunder Wave on that. So again, another Physical Attacker. Stop a T wave, get rocking with that, and then we could just rock ball. We could quake, we could do a lot here. They want to steel spike, but I think this thing is probably policy, right? But I really don't want to uh, get a policy out of it. I want to change up the weather. Say we just quake over on you. Say we just quake. We do that. Thunder wave coming out from you. 
Bang, let's throw paralyzes left and right onto the scene. This is why I love this Grimstorm moveset. You set up screens, you get rocking out with it, and then you just, uh, oh, this thing is buried. This thing is buried. We make this waste turn, but we waste his Lumberry. It seals by coming in here, going after who? Going after Grimstorm, so he is going to get that boost. But his Dynamax turns are over, which is, which is pretty big. And we still have one more turn in our Dynamax. And now I'm going to go after him with my next turn steal spike. Huge defense boost going out for a spot, but we do have a special attacker in the back with our bird. Showing Ney getting the boost, and I think he only has one more turn in his Dynamax. So I might have to protect my, uh, what's it called? I might just have to protect my, uh, my bird. Just so he doesn't go down to, like, uh, an Icicle Spear, and then we can waste out tripping. There's a big Max Quake, so I know another Max Quake will take that out. Oh, it was a crit. Never mind. Another Max Quake will not take that out. Unless we get another crit, which would be dope. Special Attack Boost comes out, or Special Defense Boost. But it's not going to do much, considering all physical attackers are on the field. And the burns are chipping up. But again, we have Double Paralyze here, which is great. Which is just dandy. We're going to throw out you. Get him after it. Let's get after it. So I think we only took out one of his Pokemon so far. And is it one turn left in Trick Room? Let me see. Let me check the info. What's it say? It says, okay, one more turn left in Trick Room. Oh, no, I do not want to run this battle. What am I doing? I want to protect you, bird. I want to protect this bird. And then I am just going to go into, I guess, a Steel Spike. Defense boost would be great for this team, so I am going to go into the Steel Spike, even if I am going to take the chance of proc policy here. Let's see how this one plays out. I can see just him dropping an Icicle Spear onto my bird. That's it. Glacier's paralyzed. Yo, big old turns. Ice Punch coming through here. And we're going to block up on that. Yo, huge turn for us here. Huge turn for us. We're going to get the Steel Spike out. Even though we're burned, we're still going to do a little bit of chip damage over onto this Pokemon right here. And I think we are going to proc his policy, right? It's got to be policy, right? 100%, right? If not, I do not know what item it's rocking. There it is. Okay, so that's the policy. The policy's out and about. We take Speed Advantage, though. Speed advantage is huge here. Buffets are chipping away. And I don't know what to do here. I, I could go. I think I had to double up in the glacier, right? He's got to go. You just have the ice punch, but I don't see that really kicking me out, right? Just have that lovely little ice punch. Hmm. All right, Wrath can come out here. Which I am going to throw, and I am just going to iron head. We're going to double down into the glacier. Fire Wrath, and then going with the Iron Head. Let's see how this one plays out. Here's Fire Wrath. Should be able to take out the Metagross at least, right? Let's see. Yeah, Metagross goes down. There's two Flinch chances here. So we get a Flint. We got a Flinch chance, a Paralyzed chance, and another Flinch chance. The Iron Head, the Fire Wrath, and the Paralyzed. Let's see. Give me a Flinch. Give me something. Okay. Thank God he missed. Thank God he missed. That's payback for my miss on the Will O Wisp. Okay. So now we're at an even playing field here. But yo, I think we had a high chance of getting a flinch or a what's it called? A flinch or a paralyzed, and none of it came out. Heatran's gonna be his final mon. I'm cool with that. I'm honestly cool with that. He's gonna float in the air with air balloons. And I think I just fiery wrath again. And I iron head. I think I double down just in case, right? That's gonna be my plan. We're gonna double down on the glacier. Even though he might protect, we're still gonna double down. He might get paralyzed again, which could be huge. I'm starting clutching up. He does not, so we double down here. We should be chilling, right? Yep, Glacier out my face. Get him out of here. We got a crit. Big shot in battle number one right there. That was a huge turn right there, but I think Grimstar was clutching up with the paralyzes. Heat wave's gonna drop through. Can Moltres eat? That's the real question. He does, yo. Indeed he eats. Thank you. Thank you for the easy eats. Ironhead comes out here, and we're chipping away. Okay, so there's a burn. We're taking some chip damage. I could plot up. Reflect wears off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was special attacking anyway. I could plot, but Fiery Wrath is going to do more damage now that it is single target. That's just how it works. It does have the air balloon, but it is knocked off, so I can just go for Stop and Tantrum. Get some super effective shots, and I think he is rocking the Shooker Berry. No. What, what am I saying? Rocking the Shooker Berry. He had an air balloon. He cannot be rocking the Shooker Berry. Heat Wave's going to come through here. I think that takes out my Metagross, right? And all we got to do is outspeed and, and land his Fiery Wrath, and it's GG's. So that is the turn we are sitting at. And my Berserk is popping. And my Berserk comes in, so I know if we land an attack, it's GG's. I know for sure now. So, Fire Wrath coming out for the final hit. Fingers crossed for it to connect. Let's get after it. There it is. 
There it is. Big win in battle number one. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. We had a slow start to this battle considering my burns didn't get off. He was able to Dynamax a Glacier, burn my Metagross, get a KO, but we ended up making up for that and grabbing ourselves that win. Not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really scared of this team. This team is looking really, really strong, and I would love to use it for a video, but I don't think this team has a rental code. He's got the Sableye and Charizard combo, the Incineroar in the back end, Rhyperior and Gastron, well, I should say Storm Drain Gastron, and the Conkador in the back. I love Conkador. I haven't used him in forever, so I'd love to get myself or my hands on a team with him on it, but we have 20 seconds to pick. I think I know who I'm gonna go into. I think I'm gonna go Grimmsnarl and Tapu Fini. Try to set up, have Sylveon in the back, and final Pokemon, we go Moltres or Metagross. Moltres or Metagross? Who does Jeans want to go? I think of Moltres. I think of Moltres in this back end can rock out here. All I got to do is watch out for that Storm Drain Gastron. I think he's going to lead maybe like Incineroar or something along those lines, but we're going to try to get after it. We're just, we're just going to try to get after it. Like we do have uh, our special attacker, Tapu Fini, lead. So I'm maybe trying to set up a combine. We're going to see who he leads and then we're going to make our decision. So let's see who it goes out into. And I gotta watch out for him potentially having Storm Drink Astron. And this is who I thought he was gonna go out into. He goes in with these two. Okay. Misty Surge is popping. And I think he's just gonna drop a max overgrowth, right? That's a that's a possibility. That is a possibility, but I am gonna go for a light screen. And a combine, or do I protect? Again, I can see a fake out into my Grim Snarl and then an overgrowth. But I still see Tapu Fini potentially eating that one up. So let's go for our calm mind here. And try to set up screens. Alright, dude, this combo is phenomenal. This Charizard. Oh, he's just gonna do a hard swap and go into probably Gastrodon. Try to make a hard read. Yo, your boy. Setting up a calm mind. Big mistake. Big mistake making that hard swap turn one. Big mistake. Trick coming out here. Are you taking my leftovers? Don't you touch my leftovers. You can have my light screen. You can have my light clay. You buttery biscuit. You son of a... You son of a gun. How could you? How could you give me that eject button? How could you do me like that? What's your problem? What is your problem? Um, I'm just gonna drop a spirit break. Alright, I set up a light screen last turn, right? Not a reflect. Yeah, light screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I go for a spirit break easily. And I could take off this thing stash. I kind of want to get rid of this Pokemon. He can set up a lot, and I'm just going to protect, because I don't want him quashing me, hitting me up, and just making me eject right away, so I'll protect here. He's going to swap you out. Go into Charizard. Go back into Charizard. Let me get a... Okay, it's going to be Rhyperior. Dude's crazy. I'm just going to protect here. Let's see what his play is. Spirit Break coming through here. He... Doing a little bit of chip damage on there. Now I wish I would have went after Gas Round, because I was doing it mainly for the uh, special attack drop. There's the Muddy Water. We protect there. We're not ejecting that quickly. So now you can't quash me. I can definitely get off a shot here. So I'm coming after... Oh, I can set up a reflect. I think it's probably lightning rod. Oh, anyway, he's ground type. So no thunder waves can come out. They're both ground. I'll set up a reflect here. And I'm just going to go for you. Right? That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. Who protects? Right here, protects you. Dude, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love these turns we're making. Reflect coming out here. So we have screens set up all day. We didn't waste our Dynamax. We still have our bird in the back. And we're going to drop a nice big Moon Blast on this thing. And he's probably just going to Muddy Water and hit his that eject button. Big damage popping on him. Muddy Water comes out. Dodge it, Finny. Nope. Nobody dodges it. Finny's going to drop back. Grimstone is going to stay in the battle. And who do I bring in from here? I could bring in Sylveon. Sylveon is not too shabby here. But I think I'm probably going to bring in that bird. And mm, Now we're going to bring in Sylveon here. We are going to bring in Sylveon, and I think I might just set up a Yawn onto the right period. And then just Spirit Break onto the Gaston. We're going to play this one slow. We are just going to play this one slow. We know right period can't protect here. So, we just Spirit Break, get that special attack drop onto you, and then drop a nice little Yawn onto this right period. That's the play. That's what we're going after. That's how we're playing this one. Gaston's going to protect. Dude, I'm totally fine. He's probably EQing, right? You EQing? Yawn coming out here. Yes, sir. Yawn it, baby. Run the yawn. Getting drowsy. Oh, wait, does this terrain... Oh. I think we messed up. I think we messed up. <laughs> I think the terrain's messing with us. 
Right. I think the terrain might be messing with us. Hold up. Let me check. I think terrain's just gonna. That was a waste of a turn. That potentially could have been a waste of a turn. Let me let me let me check it out. Um, Pokemon on the ground won't get any status conditions, but Misty Terrain ends, so maybe, just maybe, this will work. Let's go for a Spirit Break and into a Hyper Voice. Just maybe this will work. Hyper Voice pokes out, getting some nice damage on these Pokemon. Can a Spirit Break finish off this uh, Gastron? I'll play this one slow all day. Finish that thing off. Thank you. Get that Gastron out of here. So now we have that Top of in the back. Which is big. Iron Head's gonna poke here. We should be able to eat this one up, right? Yeah, it's not stabbed, so that's easy eats for the boys. For the boys. Oh, he is protected by the mist. God dang it. God dang it. If he throws out Charizard, I am going to. Hmm, if he does throw out Charizard, what am I gonna do? Probably paralyze him. And then yawn up again. That could be the play. It's gonna be Sableye, though. Sableye can drop a fake out, but we're just gonna double up into him. In a hyper voice. I can see Rhyperior protecting this turn. Let's see his play. He might protect just to block the yawn. I hope he's dropping a wonderful sunny day. Getting the heat rolling. Now, this is why I love Grimstar. Like, this moveset on Grimstar with the Light Clay is phenomenal. We're gonna be able to take out Sableye here, right? Oh, we almost get to take out that Rhyperior too. Spirit Break comes through. Oh, and he avoids it. Get out of my face. Iron Head's gonna poke through. Can we eat up this one? Maybe. We do indeed. So he can't quash me. That could be his play. And he took my leftovers earlier. I totally forgot. You son of a gun. You son of a gun. Um, I'm just going to go for a spear break. But Sylveon outspeeds. He just showed off that. He outspeeds. So I'm going to go there just so I can guarantee a KO. But I think we both should be able to outspeed, right? Unless he, again, unless he quashes me. Yep, there's the quash. And I'm still fine with that, considering our Grimstar slid over there. He's going to be able to Spirit Break, take out you, and then we'll go with Cyber Blaze. So, yeah, we're looking pretty here. We're looking real pretty. We're looking real pretty. Hyper Voice coming through here. And takes out you, yo. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But back to what I was saying. This is why I love using this Grimstar. I can play really slow and just control the battle. Like That's what I've been doing in battle number one and here in battle number two. We're just slowing everything down, pestering, putting up our screens, getting some drops, putting some status conditions on, and rocking out from there. But what I'm actually going to do here is drop a, uh, a Thunder Wave. Just get that paralyzed and then get a Mystical Fire off. Just so I can get that special attack drop and slow him down at the same time. Go ahead, Dynamax. He's going for the clutch. He's going for the clean sweep with this Charizard. But what he doesn't know is we're just going to end him here. We're ending him here by putting a Paralyze on him, which is going to slow him down, and a special attack drop. You just don't stand a chance. And then we have the top of in the back, which I can just change weather on to. It's over with, man. It is over. And whichever Pokemon you leave alive here, actually, he, he can potentially take out both as a possibility. Ruin, just ruin everything. Just ruin everything. He's going to take out both, but at least we will still get off that special attack drop. How do you miss your Thunder Wave, man? How do you miss your Thunder Wave? Let's go fire comes out here. Thank you. At least this lands. At least this lands. And we get that special attack drop. That's really, that's a huge part there. Solar power is going to chip away. And the fire is going to take you out. So we're down to two Pokemans. Down to two Pokemans. Um... I wonder what move says. Oh, and our light stream wears off. And our light stream wears off. Are we gonna Dynamax you? That's the real question. We could Dynamax the bird. I think the bird might be the better play. You might go for an overgrowth on me. Or do I change up weather? The weather change could be huge. So I think I'm gonna do that. I don't, I don't see him taking me out in one shot with the uh, with an overgrowth. I'm going to Dynamax Finny. I am going to change up weather. It's going to be a big play for us. So let's just go for... Uh, I say we plot. I'm not even going to lie. I say we plot. As much as I want to. But now let's just go, let's just go safe. Let's go for an Air Slash here. Try to get some chip damage and Dynamax and drop the Geyser. Drop the Geyser here. But it was rough for him to swap that Gastron first turn. That first turn, I was, uh, I was thinking, I was like, maybe he'll swap him into him. So I really don't want to just get off a water move and go into it right away. And that's exactly what he did. And that kind of set us up really, really well. 
But I love playing battles like this where it's longer and drawn out. Hence the reason why I love using the Grim Snarl. Just controlling the battle, like I've been saying. We down to Max Affinity. Is he gonna go for an overgrowth? He is gonna go for an overgrowth, and that's why I did want to set up the Nancy plot, but I was just like, let's just play it smart. But we still should be able to eat this up, no problem. Yeah, wonderful. Easy eats for us. Everyone's gonna start getting HP. And we're gonna change up this weather and get rocking out here. We are going to rock out here. Still should be able to do a decent amount of damage off this Charizard with this Geyser. Even though it's through the rain, this thing's not bulky at all. So it's not going to take it out, I don't think, but it's going to take it down to close to red, right? Or even into the red. So there it is. That's awesome. All we need to do is get one more shot off, and he has no double hitting moves while he's in Dynamax. And we're in rain now. So we are chipping, we're eating this one up, and we are going to go back to back wins for today's video. Back to back wins. But yeah, we've been missing some. Some big status condition turns. Like, even though we're, st we're still winning, we missed our Will-O-Wisp earlier, and we missed a big Thunder Wave chance here. Because if we would have Thunder Waved on this Charizard, it would have been over with. Like, we would have guaranteed ourselves that win once we got that off. But battle was canceled. Back to back. We're on a two-game win streak. Let's hop into our third and final battle and look for that perfect record. Third and final battle. Looking for that perfect record for you guys. And we're going up against a team full of meta Pokemon. He's got the Regilecki, the Urshifu, Togekiss, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Spectre. Spectre could be a hitting Spectre or it could be support just like the one I'm using. But we'll see how this one plays out. I think he's going to lead that Regilecki. That is a huge possibility. But I really don't want to bring Tapu, Finny, or Moltres in as a lead. Um, I could go Sylveon. Sylveon's not bad. I think Sylveon as lead is solid because Intimidate won't affect it. And we can get off a big hyper voice on a lot of these Pokemon. So we're gonna lead them too. I might actually, yeah, let's lead the Grim Snarl again, dude. Grim Snarl is just so good. He's just so good all around. Uh, we'll bring the Metagross, and then I think the Moltres. Moltres or Tapu Finier as our final mod. This Jeans want to go into. They both work really, really well. But let's just see this. He gets dumped on by. They both get dumped on by Electric. So gotta watch out for that. They can both tee off onto the Urshifu with the Air move or a Fairy move. Um. We have the Dark. The Dark's really good here as well. I'm going to go in the Moltres because that he also has the Rillaboom. And Rillaboom poses a big threat to the top of Vinny. So this is going to be our team. Let's get it. Let's get this win and this perfect record for you guys. But, dude, I've been loving this team. I saw this team and I was just like, yo, it's got Sylveon. Having you Sylveon a good bit, so let's try it out. Let's try to get it rolling. And I'm really liking it. I really am. I'm trying to think of, like, uh, teams that I need. Teams that I am going to need, if you guys want to start making me them, is Series 10 teams. Once Series 10 comes out, I'm going to need a lot of teams to record with. So if you guys are interested, DM me your Series 10 teams with the rental code down in my Instagram DMs. There's a link down in the description below, and my name is right below my face game. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys send me some Series 10 teams. Love to get my hands on them, and most likely I will use them for a video. But another thing is, you guys have got to make sure they're battle ready. Because I don't want to go into making a video, set it all up, have the team rent it, and then go into rank battles. Be like, oh, this team can't be played in rank battles. Come on, it's just wasting my time. So if you guys are going to make me teams, make sure the battle mark ready. But he goes to the Urshfu and the, uh, and the Tokus. So I'm also going to do this. I'm going to protect. Do I want to set up a Reflect? Or do I just want to go here? You could go for a Follow Me, but I'm just going to go here and Paralyze you. I probably should have set up a Reflect. That probably should have been the play. That probably should have been the play for Jeans. But I'm going to go for this Paralyze and maybe set up a turn next turn. So he doesn't go for the Follow Me. The T-Wave comes out. That's a huge thing. That's a huge thing right there. I just want to slow it down. And maybe this thing is Sashed. But we're going to be able to get off a of Hyper Voice. Nonetheless. Flame comes out here. And I don't see him going after my Grimstone. You outspeed me? Hold up. What? Wait a minute. Grimstone, can you eat? Grimstone might be able to eat. It's going to be close. It's kind of real close. Eat it up, buddy. No, he does not eat. That is whack. That is whack you outspeed me. I don't like that one bit. You outspeed my Sylveon? Get out of my face. Even under Paralyzed, there's that. Brings that thing down really, really low. That's a huge turn. All right, we'll take that. Uh, he could be very Berry, but I think I'm going to bring you out and potentially Dynamax. He does have Fighting. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What do I want to do here? I thought a Soul Fest. I wish I would have got off screens. Moltres or... Let's go Moltres. Let's get our Moltres buzz now here. I'm so surprised that none of my Pokemon outsped that Urshifu. I want to see the speed on the Sylveon. Is he Scarfed? He could be Scarfed. 
He could be Scarf. 81. I feel like that should be able to outspeed that thing. I feel like that should, but I guess not. I guess not. Even though we still would have died, I just feel like it should have outsped him. And then for another Hyper Boys, and I am just going to end up Dynamaxing. I could plot. He's got to be Scarf, right? He's got to be Scarf. I'm just going to Airstream and Booster Speed. That's going to be your play. I was thinking of Nasty Plot, to be honest with you guys. I honestly could have just took it out the Urshifu. But I think Moltres is going to outspeed that thing all day. But if we do outspeed that Urshifu all day, then we're going to be able to get a speed boost for a Sylveon, which then makes my Sylveon faster. Unless, that, unless this thing's Choice Scarf, which I'm starting to think it is. I'm starting to think this thing's Scarf. He's going to be able to rock out and get air for me. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to end up not Dynamaxing, and Aqua Jet is going to fly through here. So he's not Scar. He just simply outsped me. Air Slash coming through here. You're going to get the flinch on me. Don't get the flinch on me. I cry a little bit. Don't you dare get the flinch on me. Here's my Airstream. How much damage are we doing on this thing? Maybe we can pick up a double KO with the Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice, can you do it? 30. No flinches. He's not allowed to flinch. Let's go, Sylveon. You got this. Give me the money shot. All right. Guess this game hates me. Guess this game hates me a lot. I'm gonna go for that. I guess we'll get another speed boost. Might as well, right? Might as well. And go up for Stone Fist. Might as well. And watch now. He's gonna be able to pick up the KO. Actually, I think we got speed now. We got the speed boost going. There's no way his Earth Fru outspeeds us now. Not a shot. He still has Dynamax, so this one is gonna be a really, really close battle. Let's see how this one happens. Maybe he does something to proc my policy and I come up big. In the end, but we still have Metagross in the back. This is a great, great Pokemon. Helping Hands coming out here and Sylveon. Just outspeed it. Sylveon, that's all I need you to do. You should be able to outspeed now. Oh, he's Aqua Jetting. I was like, yo, how's this thing outspeeding? We're still able to eat, which is huge. And we get off an Airstream. So another big turn for this right here with this Airstream is now my Sylveon is plus two. It has one more turn left. I can throw off a Yawn, no problem. And get off a big Yawn on whatever Pokemon I think is gonna, he's going to die next. And here goes the Hyper Boys. Yo, get out of my face, Hershfu. Get him out of here. So, Sylveon's just so good all around. Just great all around. I do also have a special attack drop. But he got rid of my Grimstar early, early, which was tough. I had no chance to set up a screen. But, you know, I was thinking on that one. I was like, let me. I thought he was just going to hit up on my Sylveon and try to take him out. So I was just like, let me try to take him out before he tries to take me out. But Reflect would have been the play. Let's say I would have set up a Reflect Grimstar, I would have lived, I would have been able to get off the Hyper Voice, and then I would have been able to get off the Light Screen, and potentially even a Thunder Wave, but three turns with Grimstar, but we messed up. He goes in with Regilecki, who could Dynamax. And these, both, both these guys could Dynamax. So I am actually just going to yawn onto the Regilecki. And I'm going to let him proc their policy. I'm going to hit up on this thing. We should be faster than that Regilecki, right? Maybe not. Sylveon might not. Regilecki's fast. He's like 200 something. And we're 81 with two speed boosts. Maybe I should have went into another speed boost. I think Moltres is going to be faster. Let's just see his play. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Let's see, just do his play. But if I can get off a of Yawn, I'll get off that Yawn. Should be pretty much GG's. Here goes his Dynamax. Who's going to be? Who is it gonna be? I think it's gonna be Regilecki, right? Quite possibly. It's gonna be the horse. It's going to be the horse. We are dropping a darkness into that. Maybe Regilecki goes first. And procs your policy with E-Web and then we still have speed. He's gonna protect. Okay, that's that's a fine protect. That's a fine protect. He's always oh, gonna guard. Oh. Oh! He's doubling down. Darkness coming through. Darkness is going to get blocked. And he's just going to waste out our last Dynamax turn, which is smart. And Yawn is also going to get knocked out. Okay. I can't go for it. Wait, can I? That's weird. So, he's ghost typing. So, normal moves do not hit ghost. But, Pixelate makes, makes normal moves fairy. Right? <laughs> That's a little weird, but... I could drop a Mystical Fire. It could be play. I don't have Protect on my Metagross, right? 
me check this out. I do not. That's a little tough. Hmm. Let me still go for the yawn on you. Then we just drop a nice big fiery wrath. Yep, that's her play. This one's gonna be close. Coming in close. Fiery wrath comes through. Bang! Can we get a flinch on somebody? On Regilecki. Let me flinch on them. T bolts can come through here. Keep going after. Moltres, and he goes down. That's GG's. Needed that big old flinch. Can we get off the yawn before you go? Nope. Strike comes through here. Gonna take out my Regilecki and bring us down to a 2v1. Not in our favor at all. Not in our favor at all. He has two turns left in that, or one turn left in Dynamax, and I do not have a protect. And he's Grimnay boosted. And he's boosted up. Looking tough. He's life orbed as well. So that's huge damage coming out from here. We are Assault Vest. So just maybe, maybe your boy can eat up a double shot and make something happen, but really not looking good for us. Not looking good, but still, we had an awesome set of battles today. I'm going to go for a Stomach Tantrum over onto Regilecki. He might protect, but we'll see. We shall see. I think he's just going to double down on me and finish off this battle. Go ahead. Put me out of my misery. Do it. It's all good. Winning record, I'm good with today. I get a winning record. The third and final battle is just mess around, having fun with you guys. So let's see his play. Is it going to be Thunderbolt? Nope. There's the Protect. Like like I said, he's probably going to Protect. But I still want to get after it like that. Front will Protect. Phantasm probably going to take us out in one shot, right? Yeah. We gone. We're out of here. There was no need for that Protect. And we go 2 and 1 for today's video. So solid battles. Solid everything all around. We got to show off this team amazing. And we got to uh, show off that Sylveon as well. I'm happy we were able to get that winning record for you guys in today's video. We rocked out with this team. Got to play some slow, long, drawn out battles with the Grimmsnarl and the Sylveon. One of my two favorite Pokemon to use on this team. The Grimmsnarl with the screens was just awesome. Setting up the screens, pesting around, throwing Thunder Wave, Spirit Break for special attack drops. Then we also had that Sylveon with the Hyper Voice, Mystical Fire for special attack drops. We had the Yawn for Sleeps. And then we had our two powerhouse Pokemon to pick up some wins with that Metagross and Moltres. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.